Hi, I'm Dr. Tyler Kowalski. I'm a doctor of chiropractic here in Kearney, Nebraska. Um, our office is Kowalski Chiropractic Health and Performance. Um, Mrs. Creefield asked me to come give a lecture over to her UNK class, uh, the kinesiology class there. And unfortunately, with the whole corona thing, I will, I'm not able to come over there this month. So I'm going to make a quick video, kind of going through a few slides I was going to talk with you about. Um, kind of bear with me. I'm not the best with computers, so hopefully I can kind of get this recorded with the slides and everything. Um, but yeah, um, kind of the main things I'll, I'm going to try to touch on here are chiropractic, health, and then what I would tell um, my college self um, if I was sitting in your shoes. And I was um, sitting in your shoes exactly about 12 years ago, 2008. I was in kinesiology class right there where you are um, right now. So I'm just going to try to think what I would uh, like to hear um, as if I, if I was sitting in that class and hopefully you can kind of learn something and learn something new and uh, take something useful uh, going forward here. So um, I'll just kind of go through the, the, the slideshow here real quick and uh, at the end here I'll, I'll leave my email. If you have any questions um, you can always shoot me some uh, shoot me an email and I'll try to answer any questions you have. So. Um, just kind of like what I said before, I'm going to be touching on chiropractic health and uh, what I would tell my college self. And uh, so I'll just give you a, a quick background about myself here. Um, I was born and raised in Kearney, Nebraska, went to Kearney Catholic for high school and then UNK for undergrad and then Logan Chiropractic College. And uh, that is where I met my wife, Dr. Paula Kowalski. I met her down there. I was about a couple years ahead of her in school. And uh, we met down there and um, we did the long distance thing for a couple years when I moved back to Kearney and got married and, and uh, we are practicing together here here in town. And um, this is our dog Kona. She, we had got her a few years ago. She was three years old and, uh, um, and also not pictured here, but right in this area, we're going to be having a, a baby end of July. So that'll be another exciting new adventure coming up here. So... Um, so that's uh, kind of my family right there. And like I said, we I met uh, Logan Chiropractic College is in St. Louis. That's where I met Dr. Paula. And uh, yeah, I talked her back to, to Car coming to Kearney. And uh, we uh, I started up the business two years ahead of her. And she came in and, and fixed everything. And now, now we're running good. So um, we started the business May of 2013. And uh, so yeah, it's been about seven years now. So, um, there's yeah, Kowalski Chiropractic. Our mission is to restore health and increase performance to help improve people's lives. So we want to help you move, feel, and function your best. And that's kind of the gist with chiropractic. Um, we take just a little bit different approach to uh, healthcare. Um, we're, we're not we're not going to be giving you drugs, medication, um, or anything like that. We're going to try to find a natural solution to kind of help you move, feel, and function your best. And uh, I'll get into a little more of that going forward here. Um, but yeah, with chiropractic, there's so many different kind of um, areas you can you can go into it. Um, Dr. Paula, my wife, she kind of specializes in uh, pregnancy and uh, pediatrics, it's treating a lot of pregnant ladies and kids um, during the pregnancy process. That I'm finding out even firsthand here with my wife, um, your, her body and uh, pregnant ladies' bodies go through a lot of changes, puts a lot of different stresses on on her body, and especially when you're pregnant. Um, to protect the baby, you don't want to be taking tons of medications or, or drugs that could hurt the baby. So chiropractic kind of aligns perfect with that, with finding a natural, safe solution to helping you feel your best, um, helping your body um, get ready for the birthing process, take all that tension and stress um, off, the, off the body, and uh, just help your body function its best. So chiropractic and pregnancy, my wife, she has special training. Um, out even along after chiropractic school to uh, to get even more uh, knowledge and experience with that. So she treats a lot of pregnant ladies and uh, babies as well. So especially right after or during the birthing process, the babies themselves go through a lot of a lot of stress um, on their neck and back and everything. And so when we get the the babies kind of bodies take all their tension, get their spines aligned and moving well, um, it can help with sleep, digestion, colic. Um, just overall, overall health with that. So she treats a lot of pregnant ladies and babies. And uh, myself, I kind of went into more of the sports arena. 
So um, when I was first going into chiropractic school, I was kind of thinking I wanted to do something with sports, either get on with an NFL team or a, some kind of, um, I guess, some kind of team and be the, the team chiropractor. And I was kind of working my way um, to doing that. Almost uh, took a job out in uh, Baltimore to, to work with the Ravens football team, but decided once I met my wife, it'd be better not to do that. So ended up coming back to Kearney and it was definitely a good overall decision. But uh, yeah, with, with sports, um, we will kind of same thing with, with every uh, regular people. We uh, want you to move, feel, function your best. Um, and some people think chiropractic is for neck and back pain, but we can adjust and treat um, all the joints in the body. Um, so just kind of, that's kind of how I got inter introduced to chiropractic when I was in high school was certain sports injuries from football and basketball and baseball. Go see the chiropractor. He'd fix me up. And that's kind of where I first uh, came in contact with chiropractic and how it could just help your overall body move and function properly. So um, that's uh, I'll kind of t touch on that even more. Um, that's kind of why I went chose the school I chose, uh, Logan Chiropractic College. At the time, it was the only place where I could get my master's in sports science and rehab, um, along with my doctor of chiropractic, because um, that's uh, that's what I was thinking. I wanted to do something in the sports arena, maybe be a, a team chiropractor. And uh, at the time, I'm not sure if any of the schools have this, but they have this master's program where I could uh, just kind of kind of go more into the, the sports arena. So uh, that's one of the main reasons why I chose the school um, I, that I did. Um, and then um, what we're m most known, known for, kind of the bread and butter of chiropractic is kind of neck pain, back pain, headaches. Those are kind of the three main things um, we, we see a lot of p patients for. Um, we see a lot of good results treating them just a natural way of uh, helping you relieve your neck pain, your back pain, and your headaches. So, so say take um, headaches, for example. Um, say you're having chronic headaches. So instead of taking a whole bunch of pain medication, um, and uh, possibly hurting your, your liver or your kidneys from just doing that for long periods of time. If you see a chiropractor, we would maybe try to take a more natural view and approach. Maybe the headache's coming from something, something in your diet, something that's getting irritated in your neck. All the nerves that come out of the neck um, can cause some headaches and tension up there. Or maybe the muscles themselves are just really hypertonic and uh, tight, and that's what's causing the headache. So um, that's why... Kind of with any ache or pain, chiropractic is a great place to start um, with kind of taking a natural approach, seeing if we, if we can fix the problem and helping you avoid um, drug surgery or kind of more serious stuff down the road. So the kind of the neck pain, back pain, headache, that's kind of one of the main things we do see in the office. And uh, there's lots of different, different treatments that we can uh, use to kind of help your body move and function and feel its best. So... We got the, the chiropractic adjustment. That's kind of the main thing we want to start with, just making sure all the joints are aligned and moving well in your body, taking that tension and stress um, off your body so your body can heal and function its best. Um, we do a lot of muscle work, this ART or myofascial release muscle work where we're um, really getting in and stretching out certain muscles that are really hypertonic or have any trigger points um, and a lot of times when you combine the adjustment with the muscle work, you just see better results overall. Um, certain cases, we might try some acupuncture or dry needling where we're putting needles in tight trigger point areas or certain uh, stimulating certain acupuncture points for certain symptoms um, or pain relief. So there's a uh, vibration plate therapy. Um, this is what we use to kind of help with balance, um, just rehab uh, certain injuries and stuff like that. And, uh, Laser therapy is uh, another great kind of tool to use for sports injuries. You have muscle pain, muscle injury. I see a lot of sprained ankles, um, stuff like that. And uh, that just kind of helps get rid of the inflammation and just helps the, the soft tissues heal up faster. And then uh, kinesio taping. We do this on a few patients kind of before um, certain running activities or certain sporting events. If you want to stabilize a shoulder or a certain area, um, it kind of, it's a stretchy kind of tape that lets you move, but kind of gives you a little stability. Um, you can use this certain ways if you're trying to calm down a muscle or just, like I said, give it some more stability. Um, you might see this in kind of the NBA players or uh, volleyball players. They might be wearing that on their shoulders and stuff. So 
these are just a few of the different treatments we use in our office. Um, there's a few more, but uh, I guess there's when it comes to chiropractic, um, there's certain philosophies that some chiropractors have. You kind of have your kind of old school chiropractors um, or chiropractors that just want to adjust. They think the adjustment's going to fix everything. Um, they just want to kind of get you in, adjust you, get you out. And sometimes they do, you do see good results when you adjust just the joints. Um, and then sometimes there's a more kind of a area of chiropractic where they're all about kind of more of the nutrition, giving you a whole bunch of different supplements, um, cleaning up your diet and really focusing on the nutrition part of it. And then there's kind of more of a rehab kind of, um, not, I guess more, yeah, closer to physical therapy where they're giving you more exercises, stretches, focusing on, um, the exercise to kind of make you feel your best and help you move your best. So what I, I, in our office, um, I kind of tried to combine all those philosophies into one and we kind of want to adjust you, um, help uh, kind of our three kind of keys to health, our function, food, and fitness. So the function is, I'll talk about this a little more, is kind of getting the body moving well, getting uh, all that tension and stress off the body with the chiropractic adjustment, the food, cleaning up your diet, giving you the proper um, supplements you need, and then fitness. Kind of if you have any weakness, um, we want to give you some specific exercises to help you get nice and strong and then helping you move your best. So we kind of take all those philosophies and kind of meet right in the middle in, in our office. And that's when, where we see kind of usually the best results. So I'll kind of talk a little bit more about that here. But uh, kind of I'll get into the health part of it. So kind of your greatest asset, um, as I asked a lot of people, what's your greatest asset? Um, and, and a lot of times the first thing that comes to their, their mind isn't going to be health, but it kind of, especially nowadays, that's kind of being more on the forefront of your thinking. Um, it doesn't matter how much money you have, how big your house is, what kind of car you drive. Um, if you lose your health, it doesn't really matter. So that's why, um, health is so important to, to, uh, see what we can do to improve it and, uh, keep you healthy. So. Health is your ability to function properly and its ability to heal itself and obtain freedom from disease. So um, our bodies have this innate healing abilities. If you cut your finger, um, it's going to heal. If You could, might maybe need to put a Band-Aid on it while it's healing, but the Band-Aid is not is what he, is not what's healing the, the cut. It's your body. So that's kind of the whole philosophy with chiropractic. We want to try to find um, what your body needs to help this healing process. So you have this kind of natural innate healing power inside of you. And um, but before you kind of jump into taking a whole bunch of medication, we want to see if there's a natural approach to helping your body heal, function, and uh, feel its best. So, um, so yeah, to stay healthy, we need to give our body resources it needs to heal and stay healthy. And uh, so, yeah, this is uh, Wolverine. I don't know if this is kind of the old school comic um, I forget, uh, I guess the whole X-Men thing. Um, but, uh, people think his most powerful superpower is his claws coming out. But what really makes him unique is when he gets hurt, say he gets shot or anything like that. He has this really quick ability to heal and, uh, and recover from injury. And to a lesser extent, our bodies have this same healing ability. That's that innate kind of healing ability I was talking about. So, when you like you get a cut, you have a, a injury, break a bone, you're going to heal and your body um, has this healing ability. And with the whole chiropractic thing, we, we try to take that natural approach to giving your body what it needs to increase that healing ability. So, um, yeah, kind of taking that whole uh, visual approach. Health comes from the inside out, not the outside in. Um, so with chiropractic, um, we're looking to... Uh, kind of give you the, the, the proper nutrition, the proper kind of movement, fitness, and then restoring any um, misalignments with the body. To, so when we kind of line all that up, that's when we see kind of your body reaching its full health potential. And uh, so while other professions are concerned with changing the environment to suit the weakened body, chiropractic is concerned with strengthening the body to suit the environment. And you can kind of see that right now. Um, with the whole coronavirus thing, if they don't, if, uh, if, I don't know, 
mainstream medicine, if they don't have a drug or a vaccine or something to kind of deal with the problem, they're, they get really kind of more worried and scared. Um, you can, like I, I tell a lot of my patients, you can put a mask on and try to hide out from uh, the viruses, but you're, the likelihood of you avoiding the virus is very slim. And so the best way to deal with it is building up our body, being as healthy as we can. So when we do contact a virus, um, you're able, your body's able to deal with it and, uh, and not get really sick. So that's kind of the whole thing with chiropractic, just trying to kind of build up your, your health from the inside out. Um, kind of go, this kind of, kind of relates to that where you could either kind of hide out in your house, wait for the government to find a solution, or you can kind of take health into your own hands and, uh, just become as healthy as you can. Um, and that way you don't have to worry so much about, um, a new virus coming around. So three keys to health. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me grab a drink here. I kind of touched on these a little bit. So you got your function, your food, and your fitness. And so when we're talking about function, um, this is your kind of body's ability to heal from the inside out, like I was saying. So the way your body works is your brain sends signals down the spinal cord and then out to everything in your, in your body. So your nervous system is what controls everything in your body. And so how can this relate to chiropractic? So when you have any misalignments or restrictions or tension on the spine, that's when it can interrupt um, kind of how your body's functioning. So when we give you a chiropractic adjustment, get the whole body aligned and moving properly, this takes stress and tension off your body and you're able to function better. So if you do have a lot of stress um, and tension on your body, you're kind of in a state of sympathetic, um, kind of over sympathetic. So your sympathetic nervous system is kind of good if you're uh, see a, like a bear coming at you and you need to get out of the way really fast and run and your parasympathetic nervous system that is what um, helps with kind of the rest digestion relaxation and healing and so if we're in a chronic short-term sympathetic is good because that kind of gets us get, pumps up the adrenaline gets us uh, out of a situation that could be dangerous um, but if we don't want to be in a chronic state of uh, sympathetics because that's when it can lead to kind of some different diseases, too much stress, and uh, it can cause a lot of different problems down the way. So with the chiropractic adjustment, we take that tension and stress off the body, get kind of help get your body to more of a parasympathetic. Um, this is, like I said, it's helping with the digestion, the healing, just kind of a calming of the whole uh, nervous system. And uh, this is where you want to be in uh, to kind of improve your overall health. So that's kind of the function part of the chiropractic along with um, helping you get out of pain when we get everything lined up and moving well. And uh, this is, yeah, just showing that. So if you are if you have any misalignments in your body um, over time, that's when it can cause sports injuries or different aches and pains. Um, and so if you want to perform your best, um, just getting keeping that body aligned and moving well, that's when we see really good results. And food. So... I, this is an example I uh, give my patients. Um, you say you have a really fast sports car, and uh, you, you or pick any car, your favorite car, and you get to drive it uh, anywhere as long as you want, but you only get one car to drive for your whole life. You get to pick any car you want, but you only get one car to drive your entire life. You're going to take really good care of that car. That's that's kind of what you have with your with your body. Get one body to use this this life. And uh, so what we want to do is make sure we're putting good fuel in it. If you have this really fast sports car, but you're putting diesel in it, um, it's going to break down. And that's what's going to happen. That, that's exactly what happens with our bodies. If we put kind of crappy food in our bodies, um, we, especially when we're young, we might be able to handle it. But over time, it's going to catch up with you and you're going to eventually be getting sick um, or disease can creep up just from that constant kind of bad fuel we're, we're putting in our bodies. So uh, we've got the function, the food, those are kind of the two keys. Um, and then, yeah, along with the, the food, um, there's so many different supplements. I could give a whole lecture on supplements, but uh, kind of the, the main one everyone's worried about right now is boosting your, your immune system, vitamin C, D, zinc, and, probi and a good probiotic. These are kind of the, the, the main ones right now. We've been selling a lot of um, just because 
uh, everyone's trying to boost their immune system, stay really healthy. But um, so instead of giving drugs or medication in our office, we kind of recommend certain um, supplements depending on your symptom you have to help you, you know, be your healthiest there. And fitness is the last one. So just staying active, moving, um, exercising. And the key with that is trying to find something that you enjoy, love, enjoy doing. Um, if you're, if you hate what you're doing, working out, it makes it a lot harder. If you find something you, you enjoy doing, it makes it a lot easier to stay active and moving around. So, um, yeah, whether it be running basketball, bike riding, getting outside, gardening, um, definitely the more you move, the, the better you will uh, improve your health. So, so that's kind of a quick rundown on kind of the talk I was going to give. Um, just kind of how, how we as doctors of chiropractic, uh, take a, a kind of more of a natural view on, on health. And, and that's kind of what we do in our office is I tell patients, it's a great place to start. Um, if no matter what your symptom is and don't get me wrong, um, our medical model is great for emergency care. And uh, if you have a serious injury or a serious complaint, we have the best um, medical treatments in any, out of any, any country. So um, I, one example I like to use is if, you, if your smoke alarm goes off in your house and uh, what you don't want to do is go call the fire department right away. Um, most of us wouldn't just call the fire department because what would happen is they would show up in their fire truck they'd chop down your door and they'd start using the, the hose all over the house and it might take care of the problem. Um, but uh, what does your house look like afterwards? So that's kind of my example of um, kind of drugs and surgery. The, the drugs is the, the water going all over because going all over your house because um, that's what happens when you take a drug. It goes throughout your whole body. That's why there's usually some kind of side effect um, with the drug. But and surgery is kind of chopping down the door, um, sometimes, and don't get me wrong, sometimes in emergency care, if your house is on fire, um, you're glad the fire department shows up. But in a lot of cases, we call them a little bit too soon, um, where if, say, you have a little smoke in your house, you could open up a window, that would take care of the problem, or you could turn off your stove. Um, and that's kind of the example I use with chiropractic. It's better to start kind of more conservative, trying to find a natural solution to your problem before you jump into the drugs and surgery and, uh, um, that's kind of the, the whole philosophy of chiropractic is kind of healing from the inside out, taking a natural approach to, uh, to health. And it's a great place to start. You can always kind of, if it's more serious, you can, uh, kind of do the other route as well. But, uh, that's, uh, kind of the gist with that. Um, here's my email and our website. If you want a little more info about us, uh, you can go to carneydc.com or kowalsikairohp at gmail.com. If you have any questions at the end of the, the lecture here, yeah, that's the email you can use to uh, to send me those. And then I'll just kind of finish up here um, with kind of what I would tell my college self. So kind of sitting in your shoes, what would I want to hear? Um, I guess if I was thinking about going into the chiropractic profession or trying to figure out what where I wanted to go, um, one thing, if you are interested in going to the chiropractic profession sitting at UNK, I would definitely look into the 3 plus 3 program. Um, I'm sure your, your advisor has probably told you about that, but it, that's uh, where it saves you pretty much a, a year of undergrad because you're going to have four more years, um, three, three, to, three to four more years in, in chiropractic school. So um, it saves you kind of a year that way, and that way your credits kind of transfer over, which is nice. My, uh, that's what I did. I had to take a few more kind of summer classes, but was able to knock out undergrad in three years and then go on to chiropractic school. And then um, also, yeah, if you're taking any classes or looking to take any uh, classes about business and marketing, that's definitely going to be something that's going to be beneficial. Um, with chiropractic, um, it's definitely kind of a profession where you're more on your own. You're not, there's no big, usually big chiropractic clinics. So um, it's definitely beneficial to learn a lot about business, marketing. I'd say about 80% of chiropractors run their own clinic and they're their own boss and they kind of have to worry about the, the marketing, the chiropractic along with the business stuff. So um, that's one thing they don't teach in chiropractic school is 
business and marketing kind of have to learn as you go and the more knowledge you have uh, for that the better so um, that's another thing and then yeah when you're kind of trying to pick out what college you want to go to I definitely would visit them all because um, each college kind of has just their own philosophy like I said some might be more towards the rehab area the nutrition the um, kind of adjusting philosophy and uh, some might offer certain things like I said like mine uh, Logan Chiropractic College offered a master's program in sports science and rehab. So if you want to get into that area, that can help with that. Um, but yeah, just look at all the schools. Definitely visit the campus because you're going to be living in that area uh, for four years. And so you want to kind of be in a place that feels right to you and, and you enjoy living at. Um, I did enjoy living in St. Louis. It's on the kind of the far west side of St. Louis. It's a good area of town and, and just a just a great place to live. Um, and then, yeah, and also, yeah, shout out professionals if you're not sure, because I remember when undergrad, I was trying to decide between physical therapy, um, be, becoming an MD or athletic trainer or a chiropractor. And so just kind of shadowing, um, different thing, different uh, professions if you're able to. And, uh, I did that too. And kind of chiropractor just lined up with what worked best for me. I liked the fact that I could run my business how I wanted to. I could use kind of, the little bit of rehab, the chiropractic adjusting, the nutrition kind of all into one place. And it just kind of felt right to me. Um, and that's the last thing I would recommend is pick a profession, whether it be chiropractor or whatever you're looking to that aligns with who you are. Um, you want to be happy with whatever profession you go into. And if don't just be chasing money um, or a certain thing that you think will uh, I don't know, to make you happy. Just make make sure you pick something that aligns with who you are. Um, for example, like ever since I was a little kid, I was starting up my own little businesses, whether it be a le lemonade stand, lawn mowing business, um, just running my own thing and kind of being a little bit more of a loner. And with chiropractic, like I said, about 80% of the time, you're going to be running your own business. And so you're going to kind of kind of need that kind of entre entrepreneurial kind of philosophy or thinking if you're going to run your own business and so that's it just aligned with with uh, my thinking and just felt right to me and which is why i'm glad i chose this profession um but it's a definitely a great profession if you're looking into getting into something that can really help people um and just really serve people in a in a way that uh can uh, just help them move, feel, function at their best, and find a natural solution to their their healthcare needs. So um, I just uh, really enjoy it. So yeah, if you're looking into that, um, I think it'd be a great profession. Um, I hopefully uh, you learned maybe a little bit about kind of the the philosophy and kind of viewpoint of a doctor of chiropractic, and uh, definitely uh, and UNK pre definitely prepares you to be a to kind of go on to that next graduate level. I, I went into chiropractic school after taking all the exercise science classes from UNK and I was definitely ahead of the game. It was just almost like a review um, and I, different kids from different schools struggled, but um, UNK does a great job of preparing you. So you're in a good spot. Um, I hope you guys uh, have a good rest of your semester, probably from home, but uh, hopefully uh, you got learned a little bit something today and uh, Wish I was able to come and speak with you in person, but like I said, if you have any other questions, just uh, shoot me email, and uh, hopefully you have a, a blessed day, and uh, I'll talk to you later.